Right, we are sat in our Discovery 4, but this video is a wireless charger for a Discovery 3, Discovery 4 Range Rover Sport with this centre console. Now, we did do one design for the Discovery 4 before, and it was this tray that sat in here, and it has this wireless charger mat. So, and that sat in there, and it gave you a nice wireless. But the problem was, you had to run this lead through to this USB point. And a lot of people didn't want their phones exposed. So someone said, can't you do one like you've done for the other, Simon, where it sits in here? So I challenged Zach, and Zach has come up with something, and we think it's pretty good, don't we, Zach? Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of things to... I got out the wrong way around. Look at me. Um, so normally... Now, we don't know if this works with or without fridge, do we? We'll have to try it in the non-fridge model. We'll try that, and I'll put a little note on the screen. Um, so this is a tray and it's going to go in and this this is what you will get you will get these two pieces of plastic okay and they're 3d printed and the idea is this the edges of this flex and we create a tray and that tray is going to go in there okay you push that in the the pad is going to go in there and it gives you your wireless charging and you can still access and go into your little black hole of Calcutta in there, whatever you've got in there, right? But, so that's all good and easy, and you can see how to do that, but the problem is when you fit this wireless charging tray, and I'll show you how to do it now. We've got this all sorted, haven't we, Zach? Look at this, that goes through there. Whoop. Okay, pull that all the way through. Put this little pad on. <laughs> I'm making this look difficult. Right, that goes in there. And then we want it facing that way, so as we're sat in the driver's seat, we can see it. See the logo. And that just nestles in there. Okay, and then we've got a little bit of cable guiding, but we can sort that out later, can't we? But it might be easy to film it now. What that's going to do is that's going to guide your cable. So if you put it in there and just tuck it round, look, that'll just keep that nightly... So when you open that up, it's not getting in your way. Right, so we did contemplate going here, but then we remembered the kids in the back, they've got a they've got two cigarettes, they've got one or two cigarette lighter ports for that. Go and have a look. They got one, haven't they? Yeah. So they've got one. So we thought well we could put one of these little things in there and we could run the cable out the back of the center console. Right, so back in the front, Zach, let's carry the story on. And it would, unfortunately, a USB connector is too big. We've tried it every which way, haven't we? We've tried it. Hold on up. He's going to go now. I reckon no, done we've done it. And it get, you get in a pickle, don't you? You can have a go, but don't waste your time. Buy yourself a Torx T10 screwdriver and undo eight screws. Right, now one thing also to note, I'll mention, because I'm thinking about it, is while your phone is charging, different spec vehicles have a different configuration here. So some of them, it's completely empty. It doesn't have this brace across here. It's got some iPod and stuff charging. Um, this USB port, we haven't found reliable for power. It's good for accessing your music files. It's more of a data port than a power port. The one on the back is obviously a power port. Some have like some funky Nokia phone mount thing going on from back in the day. So before, well, after you've installed it, do check that you, with your phone that it doesn't squash it. And that's why we haven't put anything in this half because this is where this bit comes down. Careful where you put your phone, especially the first time, check that you've got clearance there. But we've got plenty the way we've done it. Right. Ah, but there's two little cheeky ones, aren't they, Zach? And they're, they're hidden underneath these little rubber so if you just get behind these little rubber, you might get a screwdriver behind, or you can just pull them out. You've got these two little rubber stoppers, and they form your little, when you close it, they, they land on this platform, so it closes without sort of slamming. Let's crack on. So we've, we've made those screws orange. Can you make sure everyone can? What I need, Zach, is a handy little tray, look, to put them in. If only. If only, if only Land Rover had done that. Right, we, we're, we're missing one there. One, two, one. they're all the same, these screws, aren't they? Yeah. Four, four. Well, not quite got it. There you go. 
Right, I'll get on and undo all of these. Oh, look, we've got room to get around there. So there we go. Now, what that enables us to do is to lift this cover off. So you can see there, it's not that complicated. It just screws into this cover. Take that off, give that a clean. And what that enables us now to do is to thread the cable. All right, let's get, where's the end of the cable? Don't want to lose all my screws. Okay, we can get the cable. And that will now, with ease, fire straight through the back of there. Okay, there we go. And I'm, I'm out the back, look, whoop. Okay, and then we can position that in there. And we've got a little hole in the middle there, look. Okay, let me go out through the middle. Okay, so that's all installed now. And then we've got the bit at the back. Whoa. There you go. We've got that all installed in the back there now. So that's all neat. Comes out between the air vents. We can screw this back on. Okay, put that back on. I'll just put a couple of screws in here quickly. So now we should be all ready to go, aren't we, Zach? Yeah. We're all good. Now, I can't remember that. Does that port become live with... I don't think it does. I think we need to turn the ignition on, don't we? There you go. There we go. There's your phone charged. As I say, just check you've got clearance there. So there is your Range Rover Sport Discovery 3, Discovery 4 charger slash lid for your thing all installed.